Huge Maverick news. We've got the Tremor. So it's official, the news is out, the cat's out of the bag. Ford is doing the 2023 Ford Maverick Tremor. Now this video is gonna cover exactly what it is, everything that it is, how much it costs, probably the real story about when it's gonna be available. And really I want you all to comment, watch to the end, listen to what I have to say in regards to the actual data, but then I want you to decide, is this package worth it if you aren't looking at the hybrid? Because if you are looking at the hybrid, well then paying more to have less fuel efficiency might seem a little silly, and a one inch lift does cause less fuel efficiency, and so do aggressive tires, and the Tremor has both of these. So I wanna know from y'all, what do you think? Is it worth it? Watch the then, give us your opinion, your reasons why, if you have time to do so. Now I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. You might notice my voice is a little out. I'm still recovering from being ill, but I wanna make sure to cover all the Ford news for you because at JCCR, we're all here to help. So let's put the pedal to the metal, jump right in. We've got the brand new Ford Maverick Tremor. Now it's only gonna be offered on the XLT, and the Lariat, so you cannot have it on the XL. So if you want a base off-roader, you can forget that right up. And let's start with the downsides to what we're gonna be adding to this vehicle, to the Maverick. You're gonna have 1,200 pounds of payload, that's the weight you can add to the vehicle, so that's down 300 pounds, and it can pull 2,000 pounds. So less than the 4K package, the 4K Maverick is remaining the only build available to pull 4,000 pounds. So this is meant for all your off-road adventures, unless your off-road adventures include towing a 3,000 pound camper. So Ford has called this really, they say the Maverick, to quote them, the Maverick Tremor delivers on this same promise with the new functions and features designed for off-roading, all while keeping the truck's signature size, affordability, and built for tough durability and capability. So really they're saying that it's a takeoff from the FX4 package. And when you look at it that way, this really might be worth the money. So what does it cover? Well, first of all, you have to get the two liter EcoBoost. So I love the fact that the Tremor is coming along because it does open up the possibility of getting a Raptor and maybe that Raptor would have a 2.3 liter plug-in. So that would be fantastic. That would be a whole lot of reason to buy a Raptor if it came with a 2.3 liter plug-in. But right now we've got the Tremor. We'll take it one step at a time. So that's the two liter EcoBoost. Uh, so you're about 255 pounds, uh, sorry, horsepower, 277 pound feet of torque in case you're not familiar with the Maverick. So that is fantastic for the weight of the Maverick, which is gonna be about, with all this kit, I'm thinking this is gonna be 3,700, close to 3,800 pounds because what are we getting? Well, we are getting an all wheel drive system for the Maverick. So this is an advanced system that includes twin clutch rear drive unit uh, with diff lock. So diff lock, that's gonna be real good if you're stuck in the mud and it gives you just, so when you turn the diff lock on your wheels, will turn at the same time and the gearing is made so that you get a whole lot more torque to those wheels, but you can't go over uh, usually you can't go over about 30 miles per hour because it does cause the RPM to go rather quite high. And you don't want to overheat things, but speaking about overheating things, the Tremor has thought of that as well. So we'll get to that in just a moment. You'll also notice if you do get a Maverick Tremor, you're going to be getting new off-road modes. So you'll have pavement, mud, sand, or snow as well as tow conditions. But do recall that's 2,000 pounds of towing, so not the 4K package with this. And I guess that makes sense considering you're getting an inch lift as well as off-road shocks. So off-road shocks with the one inch lift, you can no longer add 4K to this and tow, tow your, your, your trailer. That would be heavier or your camper. So what else are we getting with the Maverick Tremor? You're getting exclusive trail control. So this is the only Maverick in which you can get trail control. So much like the F-150 and the Ranger trail control, it's like a cruise control for low speeds. It's also gonna allow you, so you get to select the speed and it's going to take care of the throttle and the braking so that you just focus on the steering and what 
the trail is going to throw at you. So really, you have to have all your focus on the trail and the steering, and you don't have to worry about, you know, foot brakes. So basically, it can make you a really top off-roader, or really increase your, your skill level at off-roading, because you're not playing around with the gas and the brakes. Now you're also getting unique front and rear springs and shocks that do help with off-road capability according to Ford. They're also saying that these shocks with a one inch increase in ride height will contribute to a more assertive stance for the new Maverick Tremor. So you'll see it in the video that's going by here. You can judge for yourselves, but I've always found that one inch, you can notice a one inch. Uh, lift half inch I would find that's completely pointless in regards to looks but being an inch off the ground definitely definitely helps you're also going to be getting a better approach angle by about 10% so better approach angle means this is definitely more off-road capable and they've also added a heavy-duty transmission cooler and upgraded half shafts now that must be an upgraded heavy-duty transmission cooler compared to the FX4 and you've got the upgraded half shaft. So ready, on paper so far, this seems like it'll be a pretty good off-roader. Now the downsides, I mentioned it, max 2,000 pounds of towing and 1,200 pounds in the bed. So if you're thinking of making a little camper top out of this, do keep in mind you can't go over 1,200 pounds. So you're just gonna have to deal with that when you're throwing in your dirt bikes four-wheeler isn't going to be fitting in there anyways but you need to keep that in mind it's less than if you got a 4k but it's 4k package but it is much more off-road prepped than the 4k because it also has off-road tires so ford is saying that this is building up from an fx4 i always like to say an f-150 tremor it's like a baby Raptor and of course ford isn't going to say that this is a trim level down from the Raptor because then it's sort of shovels them into having to provide a Raptor it really makes it sound like the Maverick will get a Raptor. So their wording is they're saying it's a beefed up, uh, it builds on the FX4 off-road package. That's their wording. I'd say it's a qu rather quite beefed up version over the FX4. And for that, what is it going to cost? Well, it's going to cost 2,995 over MSRP, which I think is really worth it. However, the Tremor appearance package cost 1495 and the tremor appearance package is going to be mostly black decals so i'm not sure if i feel the appearance package was worth it but i definitely do feel that the tremor off-road package is really worth it now i'm wondering is that 2995 is that above just a straight xlt all-wheel drive or is it just above a straight xlt or lariat in, in which case, it must, I'm thinking it must be, it only makes sense that it's basically $3,000 over an all-wheel drive XLT, but unfortunately, the information from Ford doesn't, it just says it's that, it's $2,995 above an XLT or Lariat. It must be above not just the straight ones, but with all-wheel drive. Now, what are you getting for design? You're getting really nice 17-inch aluminum wheels that do have the Tremor orange uh, and dark gray anodized finish. So the mags look great with a little orange highlight pointing out the valve to where you'll probably air up and air down your tires. It's getting all terrain tires as standard for improved traction on of course sand, dirt and gravel. And you're getting a lower front fascia with more aggressive approach. So that front, front bumper has been modified. You're getting a more aggressive approach angle so you can go, you know, get over the rocks when you're off-roading. And this also comes with steel skid plates for improved capability. We do remember that the FX4 already had skid plates, but this is a step up. Now for looks, of course, we're also getting those orange toe hooks in the front, the unique grill finish, and the lights and logos are blacked out. Now, blacked out Ford logos, some people are gonna go for that. It doesn't really matter to me, but I think the blacked out headlamps and tail lamps, I've seen them on the F-150 Tremor, and they do look great. They're well worth it. You're getting those tow hooks that are orange in the front, but then on the inside, you're also getting the orange stitching with the orange Tremor badging. And you know what? 
People who wanted a black interior who are not liking the XLT's interior, well, if you're already thinking of going with an FX4, why not get this and avoid the whole blue gray interior and you can really get your black interior. So really cool. Now the Tremor appearance package, it adds carbonized gray painted roof and mirror caps as well as black side graphics on the hood and lower body. Now that's 1500. I'm not sold yet. I am not sold yet, but I'd love to hear your comments on it. Would you get a Tremor? Do you think it's a good value? And if so, would you get just the Tremor or would you also add the Tremor appearance package? I'm thinking in regards to resale, I don't know if we'll get our money back for the appearance package, but I think the Tremor will really hold a fantastic resale value outside of the craziness that we know these days. But I mean, when things go back to normal and vehicles actually depreciate, I still think the Tremor appearance package will be something very solid to have on your vehicle for resale value. So important if you like trading anywhere from every year, six months, well, in our case, every six months to a year, to some people trading three, four, five years, your resale value is extremely important. So that's everything that we've got on the Tremor for now. I look forward to test driving one and bring that video to you all because if you remember, I had one of the first uh, actually, I had the first, uh, <laughs> I had the first uh, video for the Maverick actually driving. It was a closed course. That video was up for a short period of time, and then I came back with it later. Little mistake and accident that happened with that mix up with communication. But anywho, I will bring the Tremor to you as quickly as possible. But Ford is saying that this is going to be available in the fall. I'd say it's going to be, you can order it in the fall. So when order banks open back up, on September 15th, yes, you will be able to order the Tremor. Now, here's the little catch though. If it's like the F-150, you'll be able to order one, but it's probably gonna come out in small numbers at first, and then bigger numbers later on in the year. So I do think this is a package that likely will cause you delays unless you happen to be one of the very lucky few, like at our local dealership, we had the first three Tremors just get picked up, and then no Tremors for several months. So I think this is gonna be the same case with this Maverick. They'll send out a few, but they won't wanna ruin the order of, people, people, what, of people's orders. So do remember that there's already, there, day one, September 15th, when order banks open, there's gonna be a rush of new Maverick orders. So if you wanna have a chance to, be, to get a Tremor, make sure if your dealership does pre-orders, get on their pre-order list as soon as possible. If your dealership does not do pre-orders and they're just, they will just start taking actual 2023 orders on the 15th, make sure you have an appointment first thing in the morning. And finally, do realize Ford does need to build out the remaining 2022s. So these will arrive relatively late in my educated guess or my educated speculation. Now, I'm sorry, it is balmy in here. It is 30 degrees outside and I'm in the studio and the studio is not air conditioned, but I want to bring this news to you first thing as soon as possible. So I'm gonna get back to the pool and I'm gonna wish you all more cars and more power. I really do hope you get your cars and trucks soon. In the meantime, please do subscribe to the channel. It does help feed and dress that poodle and share this information with uh, people that need to hear it because one, that's gonna be great for them getting the real deal on vehicles and two, it does help get the word out there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and until next time, I do hope you get to put the pedal to the metal if that's your thing.